Today we are making this cool and addictive design of a British door. I thought I'd just turn down my microphone and sneak in my voice <laughs> into your ears to chit chat with you a little. I have tons of pictures in my hard drives. Pictures from my old job as a photographer, of uh, my old mobile phones archives pictures, my travel pictures, you name it. Tons of different pictures taking really dust in my hard drives for real. But if I'm not traveling, my go-to place for design creation is my hard drives. It's a travel to the past almost. I also rediscover the travels I did or anything and I tend to keep literally all my pictures, even the one I haven't selected before as my final pictures, if I can say. I learned that when I was a photographer, that pictures that I might not select right now at the beginning might catch my eyes later in the future. And that's the case many times. That's exactly what happened with this design. I fell into my old trips, pictures in the UK, and I always love those doors with stairs. It's only years later that I'm talking to you now that I can use one of the pics to make a cool design out of it. That's the beauty of storage. You keep something you snapped and who knows what will happen with it. So yeah, the only thing is that to just do the door alone is a bit boring to me. If I do line art or murder, let's say, I'd rather make a more complex architectural composition that catch the attention. The trick to let people stare at your creation is to make something they can stare out of curiosity or intrigued. Let's say if it's a lot of lines with details, for example, the eyes would automatically try to look precisely on them to go deeper than the overall piece, just by curiosity. So for this embroidery, I choose to go big time, even full time, with French notes. That will be my trigger for the eyes to stare at. If you're not familiar with French notes, it's basically a cute, very nice looking knot, just like this. I don't know if this knot is something more than a knot, but there's somehow something really addictive to it. You start to make one, but it feels like you can do more all the time. Sometime, and I remember in school, we had this moment where they were telling us that you need to decide when to stop to not overcharge an art piece. But here, honestly, I struggle really hard. It's really hard to stop. I advise you a stand when you want to do French knot, like the one I have. It will save you time and a lot of aches. It will really help you to have a good position, trust me. I have linked the materials we use in the description if you are interested. But seriously, French knots are so powerful that even my best posts on Instagram, for some reasons, are always linked to French knot. So something hypnotic must happen, for sure. So it's full right now. It's full of oranges, reds, outside, yellow. And that was quite easy for me to choose my favorite GMC multicolor thread with a gradient of yellow, orange, and red. First, I did some branches to make it look a bit more realistic, that we understand its leaves. And then it's just a game of layers. For these particular leaves, I don't have a plan of doing special areas, like for example, you will go from shadows to highlights and making more darker sides, highlights and stuff like that. But actually not for this one. It makes the job much more free, easy and meditative to do because you will really do the notes randomly on this one. The only factor I will take into consideration for this one is volume. So, for example, I will start with smaller notes, first with three strands. I will spread them equally next to each other. And then I will use six strands. And then when I started to do this exactly, I realized that the six strands were taking over a bit too much. Then I went back to three strands again, because I thought it would be better to not overcharge with big knots. And at some point, after knots and knots and after knots, voila! This is how you finish this design of a British door. Nothing complicated, it's just about having a nice time relaxing, French noting, and really nothing else. If you're watching this video in December 2021 and you would like to support us and our work, this pattern is available in our membership. Otherwise, if you're watching this in 2022, wow, time goes fast, or let's say 2050, 2000, 
wow, that would be insane. But anyway, you will find this design in our website called charlesanelin.com. Thank you very much for tuning in in today's video and I see you next time. Thank you.